Welcome guys to my YouTube channel and today, uh, starting from today, I will be recording a series of video tutorial uh, and I would like to uh, teach, uh, I would like to, uh, basically not even better, TC is not really good what I would say, I would like to share the knowledge that I have with the, with you guys out there, whoever I would like to learn, you know, so um, so what, what I have decided to do, I have written little application, little uh, crowd application basically uh, using the following uh, client side and server side technology. Uh, even before that, you know, if you guys want to follow me, this is my uh, Twitter handle right here. Um, and just for uh, for, for a training, um, uh, just for by the profession, I'm a senior software engineer. Um, and I love the web technology. Anyway, that's enough about me. And then basically, right here, okay, in this in this uh, series of video tutorial that we'll be doing live coding in the following we'll be using the CRUD application well actually I have a CRUD um, actual application I'll show you the how it is done and after that we'll, I'll, we'll be doing doing the live coding as we have done uh, in our previous video tutorial so in terms of service uh, client-side technology this is what we are be, will be using we'll be using HTML5, JavaScript and, and basic CSS and of course we'll be we'll have a bootstrap because we have a two layout one for the public facing website and another one is for the admin portion so we have a two different kind of layout a bootstrap and then we'll be using a jQuery for, and then mainly we'll be using this library called knockout.js it's going to be a real life crowd application so the the you know most of the most of the example in the web just basically they gra um, they it's they, they just don't go over the entire life entire uh, web application from middle tier to web API to whatever okay yeah in the server side I could have used any other technology but I decided to use ASP.NET MVC just the web API portion of the of the code uh, basically everything comes out as a raw JSON data will be sending the, those data to persist and eventually data will be persisted into SQL Server. I'm using the, the SQL Express SQL Server 2016 CTP, okay? That is the technology that we'll be using in, in the in the series, series of videos tutorial. Okay, let's look at into the application what it does and how does it look like. So like I told you before, this application has a two portions. This is a this is the public website. You can think of this application as a, let's say, uh, really a public university or a university that offer classes and for the internet, kind of like a Capella or, or, or I don't know, um, all kind of universities that, that you will see in the internet, okay? So let's say um, this is the, this is for this person uh, is for the public facing. Let's say even before that, I would like to show you the admin person. Of course, you don't see the admin person as a public. Of course, you need to uh, log in. Once you authenticate, you will be seeing this hyperlink. That portion of the code, I haven't done it. But if you click on this hyperlink right here, it is the same page. It's the same website. What happens is like all these different, like uh, add a degree, all these use this here, the common kind of like layout. I have a two layout basically. Uh, or two, two basically a uh, two bootstrap layout okay one for the public that's why the theme of the public is different from the theme of the admin okay so let's say very first thing we would like to offer some degree in our classes here so um, even, even before that I think I have I have some degree already defined in my classes here so here's my drop down list contain associate degree a bachelor a deep in life some people you know study different kind of um, maybe a associate, a bachelor, a master, or whatever, right? Let's say um, in I want to define some degrees here. Let's let's choose a bachelor degree, and in bachelor I'm going to define um, BS in computer bachelor, BS in computer science. I'm going to go ahead and add this one, okay? Um, I have validation and everything like I, like I told you before everything is done um, through the through the no cal js I also I will, 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 will be live coding how to do that and then now once we add we add the area of study we're gonna maybe we could like to add the aid add area of specialization here I'm gonna choose a bachelor's degree here from the bachelor degree this is the one we just added bachelor in computer science let's say uh, advanced database 
this could be the specialization in, in the field of computer science. I don't know. I'm just making it up. So I'm going to go ahead and add area of specialization. Is everything is good? Um, you know, as you can see, uh, it, it, it added those degrees successfully. And which we can verify from, of course, it started persisting here. My SQL profiler is, is running also. Uh, even before that, this is how the, the my simple database structure looks like. Let's, let me show you how the very simple database. I have two or three or four table. Let's grab these are the If I expand this one, you will see the relationship between my, my you can, you, I'm just trying to show the model of my um, design, okay? Um, there is a, like, as you can see right here, as one to many relationship between degrees and area of studies. In the same way, from area of studies, we'll have many specialization. And all those information, that the user information and what kind of degree or area of study or specialization they are studying, is basically uh, persisted into this request information table. This is a very basic uh, structure. That's OK. That is that. And then, once that is all defined, let's say this admin portion, we are ready to publish our website. You know, we are offering all these classes for a student in our, maybe now here, this is where the student, the public, comes in and register for the classes. So let's say somebody comes in here and they would like to do a study a bachelor's degree in, the, in computer science, BS in computer science, with the advanced database. That's the only thing we offer right now. In the future, of course, we'll be offering more. And all these are required field. I have a validation, and all this validation, everything is done from the NoCal.js. I have written a kind of like a nice API. You, uh, I would like to uh, show you how to write those. So if you don't enter anything, of course, you would say, hey, you need to enter those because those fields, because they are all required. Require fields, some, let's say, um, John Doe, that's a universal one. Zdo at jdo.com. And his phone number, whatever, right? Um, something like that. And then I'm going to request information. So what happens right at this point, OK? So all the user information is now saved into backend database SQL Server. Basically, all our communication is we are sending the request, using requests to our web API. And web API, using Entity Framework, is basically saving those data into the SQL Server. Just to verify, you know, you can see those persisted information here in the, as you can, the last insert here. As you can see, it, as you can see right here, it it's inserted data into, let me see. This is the CROD, oper the CROD operation. Basically, when we click that button, Right here, all those information from this field are saved into the backing database. Okay. Okay, that is the that is what this application will be doing. Of course, you know um, here the couple of things that I would like to uh, show you. I would like to explain to you before we start live coding, starting from the scratch. Um, As you can see in the website, I'm using the two layout of the of the of the bootstrap because it kind of makes sense to have a two different theme for one for the outside and one for the uh, internal users. And, and if you if you have been following my video tutorial in my one of the in previous some videos, I basically created this um, social media plugin. Basically, I, I create I basically I did from the scratch, I created this sprite images and, and basically using wrote a Java API, JavaScript API. So what I have done is I started using that plugin into any of my website or whatever. So it's really useful. Anyway, guys, that is the just in this video tutorial. It's just going to be how it, how it looks like. But it's starting from next video tutorial, we'll be starting from the scratch. Of course, you know, too, I'll be for editor, I'll be using a Visual Studio. Uh, 2015 but since you know um, 
Only reason I'm using Visual Studio is because I'm using Web API. If you substitute Web API to any any kind of server-side technology like Node or whatever, it will work too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my videos and encouraging me to uh, record more videos. Looking forward to uh, sharing my knowledge with you guys. Thank you so much.